as you can see, Martin and Fancy made it home. Uh, he got in about four-ish this morning. It is Monday. Uh, we've been on the phone with insurance adjuster and uh, body shops uh, that specialize in truck repair. I have a cookie. Martin bought me a cookie. Brought me. Bought me. Both. Uh, anyway, we found a shop that we're going to go drive it over to uh, this morning to have them take a look at and see how long they're thinking uh, repairs might take. Uh, one of the other shops I was talking to told me that they are three weeks out before they can even start working on it. Another shop I called, same story. Uh, this shop though, they said they should be able to maybe get started on it this week. So we're gonna cross our fingers because uh, downtime is no good when you're in this business. We do not have rental reimbursement on our insurance policy. Uh, we do have downtime uh, where they pay out downtime, but the downtime policy is not that good. Um, you know, when you when you're when you're getting these coverages, you think, oh, that's cool, you know. But then when you get into the fine print uh, after the fact, when you need to use them, uh, the way downtime works is they get seven days before they can start paying you, but that seven days does not start until the estimate has been approved and the shop has actually started working on the vehicle. So <laughs> what good does downtime do you when you maybe you have to wait three weeks before they can even start on your truck? Um, and on top of that, it's $750 a week that they pay. Uh, so when your truck's down, um, you're losing a lot more than that in revenue. So it's kind of sucks. Uh, luckily we have that truck, right? Not the Dodge, but the Peterbilt right there uh, to kind of, you know, fill in and uh, keep the run going. But if we did not have the additional truck, man, it would not be pretty. So anyway, we're going to get fancy over here to the shop and uh, hopefully get fancy back to looking, looking good. So a couple things I noticed right here, that's kind of pushed back um, the radiator. Put my car key down. The, uh, the guard though, man, <laughs> that held up really good. So um, outlawtruckingsupply.com made this for us and uh, I mean, it can it can withhold a, a deer impact and not, not get harmed. But the grill behind there, not so lucky. And then I also noticed over here, the, uh, the hood seems to be pushed this way. Yeah, I know. I'm still holding my cookie, guys. Um, but look at the look at the gap between these bolts here. And the hood, like, you know, basically a finger. Let me show you here on the other side. You see that? That's, uh, that's a big difference. So we're definitely tweaked in the hood. I don't know if it's like a, uh, <sighs> I don't know if it's frame damage. I don't think it's frame damage. I think it's more of like just the hood got knocked back um and maybe you know broken hinges type thing anyway go to fire up and we're gonna get going these are so satisfying oh they're so good i love snickerdoodle cookies
We're doing like an obstacle course here. Is that him maybe over there? Whatever. <laughs> Will they still not close? Oh, there. No. No, I was hitting that guy. What do you want? I was going to take it and put it in there. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what do you want? You keep grabbing stuff. I was just trying to help. Well, do we want to grab wipers? I guess. I mean, we're here, combine stuff. Or I can pay more money and buy them at Pete. Well, we scored on buying our wipers. I guess it was a buy one, get one free special promotion day. And plus we had a $5 coupon. So what we were expecting to be almost 50 bucks worth of wipers ended up being $18.39. Yay! Oh, so we uh, are obviously not at the body shop. We went to Tractor Supply to buy oil for uh, Tiny, so Tiny get oil change. Uh, and then we came over here to um, O'Reilly and bought wipers for my truck. And uh, the body shop looked at Fancy here and they're going to email us the estimate. So we're waiting for the estimate. So we're installing an ELD analysis truck. So this mounts up here with screws and I took it off because I thought that maybe it had some nuts on the backside, but it looks like these are just rivets. So I'm going to drill this guy out. And then uh, we're going to just bolt it on because we have to put all this garbage in its place. So I want to tuck it up underneath here so it looks nice with all these wires. So that's what we're going to do. Now we got those drilled out. Now we could just put a couple bolts in it. And then this is gonna be our new OBD2 port. And this is gonna plug in right there. So first of all, we gotta clean up some of these wires because there's too much mess. We're gonna tape it all up and make it a little bit neater so it's all not like looking like crap. Although it's gonna get tucked in behind there, we still don't want it looking like crap. We can connect that. Plugging it in to make sure it all works before I put it all away. Right. So we put a zip tie around that guy in case this wants to come loose. I don't want to take all this off. If you're wondering what all the noise is. that person over there only the finest finest tools are on here I'm gonna go party with tiny dancer good old MV 4500 parts Where's the bad synchro? This is the bad synchro. So this is a fifth gear nut fix. See the little locker? Well, this is supposed to have threads on it. That's not stopping the fifth gear from coming off. Look at this truck rolling up next to me. We're here at SEVA this morning. So I can use the restroom. Now we're here so that uh, we can, well I am going to use the restroom, but we're here so we can change the oil in Tiny. Uh, I don't remember how many miles are on it, maybe like 25,000 or so. And uh, it's time to, time to give it a change. Uh, plus the oil that we put in there, Tiny, Tiny's not really a fan of it. So we're switching it out to the full synthetic that should be in there. And uh, then we're gonna hustle back home and work on my truck, because my truck has to go to work 
it, no ands, ifs, or buts. It's just, it's gotta go. It's gotta go. It's gotta go. Because fancy, fancy is down. So, didn't think we'd have the perk of having a spare truck this soon, but I'm glad we have it. Said hi to the guys in there, the warehouse. It's kind of a mess right now. They're uh, moving a lot of freight around, getting everything set up uh, to go out on this evening's shipments. And uh, said, make sure you save some of that for me for tomorrow. <laughs> so challenges tomorrow, man. Um, the weather is not looking good. We are, it's gonna be challenging because we are expecting like a super crazy snowstorm event like it's so crazy supposedly where we live might even get some snow and that like never happens really the new one Man, ah. you want me to rinse those wheels for you? Then you can work on your oil. Yeah, you don't want to be on that side because you'll be wet. So, we came up with this idea to use the uh, sprayer from the house um, to at least wash off the wheels because. You know, we don't like our stuff looking janky. So, there you go. We're washing off our wheels. That's some serious grit though, man. Look at that. Ew, yuckers. Gritty, gritty, gritty. Gritty, gritty, gritty. See that? Because it's too low. Give me the thumbs up once it builds. Alright, you ready? Yeah. You guys see all like the dirty stuff in there that's separated from the diesel that's diesel i drain out of the separator that's all that's basically water and it's dirty because the the filler on the the, the bottom the, the cock was dirty <laughs> so you see a little bit but that's water so that's separated and, and that's you're gonna get a lot of that crap if you don't drain it i mean you gotta drain your separator but you're gonna get a lot of that in the winter time with the winter fuel the winter fuel just sucks you pay it's like you pay more for it but it's way worse quality yeah, and we've been like going been through separators the separators a lot. On this truck a lot, and I put some hot shots in it last week because that helps. Does it? it does. Are you sure? Well, now the <laughs> separator went down a little bit. Mm. We'll fire it up again, see if it goes back up. Maybe it just had, maybe it just needed to be drained a little bit. But it's just, you know, after three trips, it shouldn't be going up that high. It just shouldn't. So. We, put, we changed oil. We like to run T4, but the T4 in this truck, I think this truck probably will benefit from the synthetic. And because it gets such good fuel mileage, we're gonna, well, we switch to the T6 because I can't find anything else. I'd like to find a Dello, but I can't. So we're gonna run this and hopefully it does a better job. Because the thing with the T4, and I don't know, maybe this will tell too, it just stinks, man. It smells like rancid burnt oil. This truck didn't burn a dime. Actually, I extended this a little bit because getting eight miles per gallon, you can go 20, 25,000 miles if the oil is staying clean and the oil is still fairly clean on this truck when I pulled the dipstick. So we extended it a little bit. With this, we should be, it should stay even cleaner. 
But the point of it is, if you're getting like eight miles per gallon, you can extend your oil life. If you can, you know, if, if it's still staying clean, and obviously you should sample it and make sure that the viscosity is all there. But I feel like the oil pressure on this truck never dropped and, and it's been doing pretty good. So that's why we went a little bit more. So we're gonna keep an eye on it with this oil. And hopefully it doesn't stink anymore. Not that we were driving it, but you know, it's just, it's annoying, especially with the weed burner. You can really smell it coming out of the exhaust, which, and I know for the emission system, I, I think that's why maybe the T4 is just not very good. Because they want you to use certain oils for certain engines with emissions, so. There you go. So this week, while I'm out trucking, uh, Martin obviously will not be working on the green truck, but he is still working on a green truck because that darn Dodge, um, we have the transmission back there for it, completely rebuilt it. I believe they rebuilt the transfer case as well. Um, that truck, the, the transmission was bad when we bought it. Um, we should have known better, but we just, it, it's hard when you go off like the internet, the internet will say one thing like, oh, it's common for a lot of these trucks to have uh, grinding into third gear or whatever, and they're fine. Um, but it wasn't fine. It, it had some pretty serious hardcore carnage. So uh, Martin's gonna rebuild that truck. Oh, it, I mean, it's already been rebuilt. He's gonna put it back together. So I mean to say, he's gonna put the truck back together and um, we're gonna put it up for sale with the, with the brand new tranny and transfer case. Uh, we just, we like this Ford better cause it's got this amazing brown interior, King Ranch. Um, so that's what we're, that's what he's gonna do while I'm out trucking the green truck. I uh, do not have a name for the green truck yet. Nope, I don't. Um, it'll come to me. I, I have to get to know it. Or maybe it won't come to me. I just won't have a name. I don't know. We'll see. It's a frog truck. It's a frog truck. So we bought cable for the inverter, ATF for the power steering, and, and coolant on connections. For the inverter cables. Yeah, and it's so stupid windy out right now. Really I'm um, really wishing that we put the decals on the truck yesterday. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Just got done putting this inverter in. Still gotta run the wires. It's over here in a closet. It's gonna be like so. Here against the wall. And this is a ground for it. I still gotta pull down there, but I gotta go outside for that. I have to drill some holes in the floor. Kinda hard to see, but you can kinda see it. And yeah, then we're just gonna kinda attach it like so. And be good to go. Like a searchlight. So yeah, we're we're here in the uh, Peterbilt, adjusting the those single rounds. I will put it here. Okay. And put the numbers here underneath it. Where's the numbers? Let's see. Yes. Hello. I see it on the cameras, uh, but you can, yeah. I mean, the worst case scenario, they'll just not make it let you go. I mean, for the sake of not waiting, you can, but I don't know. I just, I don't know how they're going to lift it. It's hard to judge with those guys. Yep, exactly. Sounds good. Thanks, Jason. Bye. They're not going to let them roll through there. You know how it is over there. I see on the live thing that... I see on the live thing that it's not a... That they're still changing. All right, so those are our options. We can do it on the door, or we can do it up on the sleeper.
it, it's on a trailer. Oh, yeah. Is it, is it on a sidewall? No, it's in the tread. So what I would do is I would I would go to the TA in uh, in Sparks, and they'll they'll be able to either put a tire on or, or patch it, and I'll call Siva up and let them know about it, and then they'll they'll make, basically make a work order for it. Um, the trailer number is what is it four two eight? What is it? So a super duper busy morning working on the truck, getting some loose ends tied up, uh, last minute lights that we can get on. Uh, right now, Martin's finishing up some wiring. I'm gonna go get our son from school. We still need to adjust the clutch, uh, put some grease on the fifth wheel. I think that maybe is it. I'd love to get the camera system in. I don't think that's happening today though unfortunately um but yeah and I I need to try to get a nap um I mean I can pull an all-nighter again I'm sure but it'd be a lot better if I don't so I'm gonna uh go get our son I gotta go into town uh pick up an extension cord because the one I have uh the microwave will not plug into and possibly get Martin some connectors and then uh, when I get back uh, unless he needs me to help him adjust the clutch which he probably will I could take a nap so it's kind of what we're doing today just being incredibly busy people Push. So I think that's perfect. Right, this should be good. Now oh, the clutch will grab a whole lot different. Okie doke. Thank you. I like that you're wearing gloves. Well, yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> mess under there. Yeah, you're pretty greasy looking. So what we were doing there is we were adjusting the clutch and uh, we just fired this truck up and it's grabbing really nice. Uh, so much better. So just, it needed an adjustment and uh, yeah, much better. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex zone.